Good morning, Jackie. <laughs> okay, Blenda has asked me to tell you about my father, my tall, dark, handsome father. Um, that he had a good heart. He was a Christian man. He taught us Christianity to love our Lord. Um, he was a very stern but fair father. Uh, if he ever got mad at me and yelled, I just shuddered because he just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> he, uh, I always enjoyed what was, he go ahead. What he would tell y'all when he came to visit after you're there about half oh, hour. Oh yeah. Uh, that was later Of course, years. he liked to sleep late. As he grew older, he liked to sleep late. And, of course, the boys were young and would run back and forth in the bedroom. And he'd holler, get out of here, you little jackasses. <laughs> well, the boys always wondered why Daddy called them jackasses. Well, I couldn't answer that because Daddy had pet names for everyone. <laughs> uh, Daddy was in the, uh, went, he was a very athletic man. He went to the University of Oklahoma. Uh, he plays a fraternity, I think, Pi KA, and was in a, with intramural uh, sports and was awarded or given or whatever they do, presented. He uh, was a little old American at the mm -hmm. University of Oklahoma. Uh, then he had a job, he was uh, football and, and uh, basketball and uh, baseball. Baseball was his favorite. He had a chance to go professional baseball and football. Wow. His father decided only cheap and common people played baseball, so that career, career went down the drain. So he played professional football for Buffalo. They were bisons at that time. Really? He said he damn near froze to death up in New York. What year was that? Oh, Lord, 1920s. I is swear. All he said that... Um, the helmets had about as much padding as a Kleenex on your head. I imagine. Uh, no padding really whatsoever. But anyway, then he came back and he got in the nursery business and he planted the palm trees from Harlingen to McAllen. Wow. And then when they had this hard, hard freeze several years ago uh, and they lost a lot of the palm trees and citrus uh, orchards, uh, then of course the palm trees were damaged also. Mm. Uh, he and Mother married. They ran off and got married. Smart. So they got married. They came back. Daddy dropped Mother off at home and he went home. And Mother said her on her wedding night she spent her first night sleeping with her grandmother. <laughs> now what matter memory. And let's right. see. Right. He was mayor here in um, Menard. Uh, Daddy was before his time. He tried so hard to get the board to uh, build a dam. This was before Amstead. And can you imagine the uh, the beauty for one thing and mm -hmm. the money it would have brought into Menard. But they could not see that and so that went down the drain also and then later on in, uh, in the years then Amstead was built. Uh, Daddy played, started playing golf when he was 60. He played with Mr. Rude, who always wore his little knickers. Now, what, that, played with Mr. Who? Mr. Rude. Oh, yeah. And he always had on knickers when he played uh, golf, mm -hmm. like the old time he golf people. And uh, Jelly Bean, he and Jelly were good friends. And uh, Boots, Boots Neal and C.R. Brace, and mm -hmm. uh, they would go to these tournaments. And I remember Daddy won a tournament, his first tournament, and uh, it was a golf bag, and he was so excited because he had won this. But he, there again, long. he was very athletic, and um, he and, and uh, Jelly, like I say, were very good friends, and they were always fixing Dixie's plumbing. They never fixed anything, Dixie said. All they did was just tear something up and then leave and go play golf and drink wild turkey. <laughs> Anyway, Dad was a wonderful father and lots of good memories that I can't even uh, tell y'all about because y'all get bored. It wouldn't mean anything to y'all, but it does to me. But he, uh, I can contribute my high cheekbones to Dad because he, uh, his mother was full-blooded Cherokee and yeah. and he he always used all these remedies uh, for everything uh, that she had taught him and I still do and and my family still does. 
Anyway, that's all I'm going to tell you about my daddy. Well, thank if you. you. Didn't know him, then Wonderful. You missed a I did know him, and I really enjoyed him. Thank you, Jackie. You're welcome.